In the unseen corners of our world lies a kingdom both beautiful and perilous, a realm often overlooked, hidden beneath our feet, Within the crevices of trees or dancing on the wind, this is the kingdom of fungi, a world where beauty meets danger in an intricate dance of survival and adaptation. Fungi, the often unseen architects of our ecosystems, weave a tale as old as life itself. They are the decomposers, the recyclers, the symbiotic partners of countless organisms, yet their world is shrouded in mystery, a paradox of allure and threat. Imagine a forest floor teeming with life. Beneath the leafy carpet, an invisible network thrives. This is the mycelium, a vast fungal web, a subterranean internet of sorts, connecting plant to plant, tree to tree. It's a world where nutrients are exchanged, where messages are sent and received, a world that remains largely unseen to the human eye. Yet, within this unseen world, danger lurks. In their pursuit of survival, some fungi have evolved to produce potent toxins. These can cause anything from mild irritation to severe illness, and in some cases, even death. The death cap mushroom, the ergot fungus, the dreaded candida, these are just a few examples of the dangerous fungi that share our world. They can be as deadly as they are beautiful, a striking reminder of the delicate balance of nature. Fungi, in all their diversity, are a testament to the relentless march of evolution. Show us how life can adapt, can thrive in the most unexpected of places. They remind us of nature's resilience, its ability to innovate, to survive. Yet they also serve as a cautionary tale, a reminder that not all that glitters is gold, that beauty can mask danger, that the unseen can hold both marvels and threats. So venture with me into this hidden kingdom to understand the enigma of fungi. Together, we'll explore the beauty and the peril, the wonders and the warnings that this fascinating kingdom has to offer. And for more intriguing and insightful content, remember to check out and subscribe to the I Am Crisano YouTube channel. Before we delve deeper, it is essential to understand what fungi are. Fungi, the often overlooked kingdom of life, are indeed a wonder of nature. Neither plant nor animal, they are a realm all their own. Fungi are unique, complex organisms that share some characteristics with both plants and animals, yet are distinctly different. While plants make their own food through photosynthesis, fungi, like animals, must obtain their nutrients from external sources. They are the planet's ultimate recyclers, breaking down organic matter and releasing essential elements back into the environment. Fungi are composed of a network of filaments called hyphae, which form a structure known as mycelium, this mycelium can be found virtually everywhere. In the soil, beneath our feet, on the bark of trees, and even in the air we breathe, it's the visible part of the fungus. Like the mushrooms we see sprouting from the ground that are merely the fruiting bodies akin to the apples on a tree. One of the most intriguing characteristics of fungi is their cell walls, which unlike plants, are not made of cellulose, but of a substance called chitin. Chitin, a tough, flexible material, is also found in the exoskeletons of insects and crustaceans. This unique composition sets fungi apart from plants and further strengthens their connection to the animal kingdom. Fungi also reproduce in a fascinating way. They can reproduce both sexually and asexually, often through the production of spores. These spores, microscopic and numerous, can be dispersed by wind, water, animals or humans, enabling fungi to colonize new areas. It's this ability to spread so efficiently that makes some fungi incredibly beneficial, like those used in baking and brewing, and others potentially harmful, like the ones that cause diseases in humans and crops. But perhaps the most remarkable thing about fungi is their sheer diversity, they come in all shapes, sizes and colours. There are microscopic fungi, like yeasts, and there are massive ones, like the honey fungus in Oregon, which spans nearly four square miles, making it one of the largest living organisms on Earth. Fungi also play a pivotal role in symbiotic relationships. For instance, mycorrhizal fungi form partnerships with plants, aiding in nutrient uptake. On the other hand, some fungi are parasitic, causing harm to their hosts. So fungi, these strange and captivating organisms, are far from just being mushrooms. 
They are a diverse, complex and integral part of our world. They break down and recycle nutrients, form crucial symbiotic relationships and have an uncanny ability to survive and spread. Now that we have a basic understanding of fungi, let's explore their fascinating diversity. Fungi offer an astonishing variety with a multitude of shapes, sizes and colours. Now isn't that a captivating thought? This invisible kingdom is teeming with life that most of us rarely notice. So let's delve a bit deeper into this fascinating world and explore some of the different types of fungi that exist. First we have yeasts, the unicellular fungi. They're the unseen heroes behind some of our favourite food and drinks. They're responsible for the rise of your bread, the bubbly fizz in your beer and the tang in your yoghurt. But they aren't just culinary wizards. Yeasts also play critical roles in nature, such as decomposing organic matter and contributing to the health of our soils. Next, let's move on to moulds. Now these are a group of fungi that you're probably more familiar with, whether you've encountered them on a piece of old bread or seen them sprout on a damp wall. Moulds, like yeasts, are also decomposers, breaking down dead organic matter into nutrients that can be used by other organisms. But despite their unappealing appearance, moulds are incredibly important. They're used in the production of certain cheeses and antibiotics, and they play a crucial role in the recycling of nutrients in the environment. Now, on to the stars of the fungal kingdom. Mushrooms. These are the most visible forms of fungi, and they come in an astounding array of shapes, sizes and colours. Some mushrooms are edible and prized for their culinary uses, while others are toxic and can cause serious harm if ingested. Mushrooms are the fruiting bodies of certain fungi, and their primary role is to produce and disperse spores, ensuring the continuation of their species. But the world of fungi isn't just confined to yeasts, moulds and mushrooms. There are also lichens, fascinating organisms that are actually a symbiotic partnership between a fungus and an algae or a cyanobacterium. Lichens are incredibly hardy and can be found in some of the harshest environments on Earth. They play a key role in soil formation, particularly in barren landscapes, and provide food and shelter for a host of tiny creatures. And finally, there are the mycorrhizal fungi, which form mutually beneficial relationships with plants. These fungi colonize the roots of plants, helping them absorb water and nutrients from the soil. In return, the plants provide the fungi with sugars produced through photosynthesis. This symbiotic relationship is so vital that about 90% of all plant species rely on mycorrhizal fungi for their survival. As we explore these diverse types of fungi, it's evident that they play an array of roles in our world. From decomposing organic matter and recycling nutrients, to aiding in food and drink production, to forming symbiotic relationships with plants, fungi are indeed indispensable. They are the silent workers, the unsung heroes of our ecosystems, often going unnoticed, yet playing pivotal roles that keep the cycle of life turning. So the next time you enjoy a slice of bread, a chunk of cheese, or marvel at a beautiful mushroom in the forest, remember the incredible world of fungi that made it all possible. And while some fungi can indeed be dangerous, many more are essential for our world to function as it does. Each type of fungi plays a specific role in the ecosystem, a role that often outweighs their diminutive size. This is the wonder of the fungal kingdom, a world hidden in plain sight, yet profoundly shaping the world we live in. Fungi are the unsung heroes of our ecosystems. This is a truth that's often overlooked or simply unknown. These fascinating organisms perform crucial roles in nature, many of which are indispensable. Let's take a closer look. First and foremost, fungi are nature's decomposers. They have an extraordinary ability to break down dead organic material, such as fallen leaves, dead trees, and even animal carcasses. This decomposition process is vital for the recycling of nutrients within ecosystems. When a tree falls in the forest, it's not just left to sit there indefinitely. Fungi, along with other decomposers, get to work. They break down the complex organic materials into simpler forms, releasing essential nutrients back into the soil. This nutrient recycling allows other plants to flourish, thus supporting the entire food chain. But fungi don't stop at decomposition. 
They also form symbiotic relationships with other organisms, particularly plants. In these relationships, both parties benefit and without fungi, many plants wouldn't survive. One common type of these relationships is called mycorrhizal associations. In these partnerships, the fungi connect to the roots of plants, effectively extending the plant's root system. This allows the plant to absorb more water and nutrients from the soil. In return, the fungi receive sugars and other organic compounds from the plant. It's a win-win situation, and it's thought that around 90% of all plant species rely on these relationships to some degree. Fungi also form symbiotic relationships with animals. For example, leafcutter ants have an incredible relationship with a particular type of fungus. The ants cut leaves and bring them back to their colony, not for food, but for the fungus. They chew the leaves into a pulp and feed it to the fungus, which in turn provides food for the ants. It's a specialised form of agriculture, and it's all thanks to fungi. Moreover, lichens, those crusty patches you see on rocks and tree trunks, are actually a symbiotic relationship between fungi and algae or cyanobacteria. The fungi provide a protective home, and in return the algae or cyanobacteria photosynthesize and provide food. Lichens are incredibly hardy and can survive in some of the harshest environments on Earth from Arctic tundra to rocky deserts, making life possible where it otherwise wouldn't be. However, it's not all harmony in the world of fungi. Some species are parasitic, causing diseases in plants and animals. For example, the chestnut blight fungus, which was accidentally introduced to North America in the early 20th century, has virtually wiped out the American chestnut tree. Similarly, white nose syndrome, caused by a fungus, is currently decimating bat populations across North America. It's also worth noting that fungi play a role in human activities. They're used in the production of many foods and beverages, such as bread, cheese and beer. They're also used in medicine, penicillin, the first antibiotic was derived from a fungus. And let's not forget their use in biological research. The humble bread mold Neurospora has been a key tool in understanding how genes work. Fungi are indeed the unsung heroes of our ecosystems. They decompose organic matter, recycle nutrients, form symbiotic relationships, and even aid human activities. They're an integral part of life on Earth. But fungi are not just benign contributors to our ecosystems. They can also be harmful, causing diseases in plants, animals, and humans. And some species produce toxins that can be deadly if consumed. It's a delicate balance, understanding and appreciating the crucial roles that fungi play, while also being aware of their potential dangers. While fungi are essential for our ecosystems, they also pose dangers that are often overlooked. So the next time you see a mushroom sprouting from the ground, or a crusty patch of lichen on a tree, remember that you're looking at an organism that's quietly playing a vital role in the ecosystem, while also potentially harboring a dark side. It's a fascinating world, and we're just scratching the surface. Amidst the beauty and wonder of fungi, lurks a darker side. The kingdom of fungi, though often seen as a realm of enchanting oddities and ecological marvels, also harbors a more sinister aspect. Today, we're delving into the perils that some of these fungal species pose. From toxic mushrooms to dangerous fungal infections, these are the hazards hidden within the world of fungi. When we think of dangerous fungi, what often springs to mind are poisonous mushrooms. The allure of wild mushrooms is undeniable. They have an otherworldly charm, growing silently and suddenly in places where nothing else would. Yet, not all mushrooms are friendly forest dwellers. Some are deadly deceivers, their vibrant caps and inviting aromas belying the lethal toxins they carry. One of the most infamous is the death cap mushroom, Amanita phalloides. Its unassuming appearance, similar to several edible species, has led to countless cases of deadly poisoning. Consuming even a small amount of this mushroom can lead to severe liver and kidney damage, and in many cases, death. Then there's the destroying angel, Amanita virosa, a pure white mushroom that looks as innocent as its name suggests. But don't be fooled. It's one of the most poisonous of all mushrooms, its toxins can trigger severe abdominal pain, vomiting, and hallucinations. Without prompt and proper treatment, the consequences can be fatal. However, the danger of fungi is not confined to the forest floor. 
Fungal infections, while not as instantly dramatic as deadly mushrooms, are a significant and often overlooked threat to human health. These infections can range from superficial skin conditions like athlete's foot and ringworm, to systemic infections that can affect major organs and even prove fatal. Candida auris, for instance, is a relatively new fungus that has been causing severe illness in hospitalized patients around the world. It's often resistant to multiple antifungal drugs, making it a serious and growing public health threat. Aspergillus, another common fungus, can cause a disease called aspergillosis, primarily affecting the lungs and sometimes spreading to other parts of the body. In people with weakened immune systems, this disease can be particularly severe, leading to life-threatening complications. Fungi also pose dangers to our ecosystems. Certain species can wreak havoc on plants, causing widespread crop failures and contributing to the decline of crucial species. One such culprit is the fungus Batrachochytrium dendrobatidis, which has been linked to the global decline of amphibian populations. This fungus infects the skin of frogs, impeding their ability to breathe and absorb water, often with fatal results. And let's not forget about the fungus that caused the Irish potato famine in the mid-19th century, Phytophthora infestans. This pathogen led to massive crop failure, causing widespread starvation and forcing a mass emigration from Ireland. Yet despite the dangers they pose, it's important to remember that fungi also play crucial roles in our world. They break down organic matter, recycle nutrients and form symbiotic relationships with plants, enhancing their ability to absorb water and nutrients. Some even have potential uses in medicine and biotechnology. But like fire, fungi are a force that can both support and destroy life. They are a testament to the delicate balance of nature, a balance we must respect and understand if we are to safely navigate the world of fungi. So, while we marvel at the wonders of fungi, let's also heed the caution they inspire. For within their intricate networks and under their colourful caps lie potent toxins, destructive pathogens and insidious invaders. We must approach this strange and fascinating kingdom with both curiosity and care always aware of the potential dangers that lurk within. The world of fungi is indeed a paradox, offering both fascination and fear. As we continue our journey into this hidden kingdom, let's keep in mind the dual nature of fungi, their capacity for both beauty and peril, creation and destruction. This is the enigma that is the world of fungi. History is fraught with tales of deadly encounters with fungi. It's a chilling thought, isn't it? The very organisms that contribute so much to our ecosystems also harbour the potential to cause immense harm. Let's delve into the annals of time and explore some infamous fungal poisonings that have left an indelible mark on human history. One of the most well-known episodes occurred in the late 16th century. The French ambassador to Rome, Charles de Marillac, was allegedly poisoned by a dish of death cap mushrooms. The death cap, or Amanitophylloides, is one of the deadliest fungi known to mankind. Its toxins can cause liver and kidney failure, leading to death in severe cases. Despite its lethal nature, the death cap is often mistaken for edible species due to its rather innocuous appearance. Fast forward to the 19th century and we encounter another notorious instance of fungal poisoning. This time the culprit was Claviceps purpurea, a fungus that infects grains such as rye. The ingestion of infected grains led to a condition known as ergotism, also referred to as St. Anthony's fire. Symptoms ranged from hallucinations and gangrene to convulsions and death. The Salem witch trials of the late 17th century are often speculated to have been influenced by ergotism, with the bizarre behaviors of the accused possibly being the result of consuming ergot-infected bread. Another infamous episode of fungal poisoning occurred in Japan in the late 20th century. In the late 1970s, a group of people in the region of Kyushu fell ill after consuming pickled clouded agaric or Clytocybe nebularis. This mushroom contains the toxin muscarine, which can cause a range of symptoms from excessive salivation and perspiration to abdominal pain and blurred vision. In severe cases, it can lead to respiratory failure and death. The Kyushu incident led to a heightened awareness of the potential dangers of wild mushrooms in Japan. 
More recently, in the early 21st century, the deadly webcap, or Cortinarius rubellus, caused a tragic incident in the United Kingdom. A family of foragers mistook the deadly webcap for the edible rosy webcap and consumed the deadly mushrooms. The toxin orelanine in the deadly webcap caused kidney failure in the family members, leading to the unfortunate demise of one of them. This incident underscored the importance of accurate identification when foraging for wild mushrooms. The world of fungi is indeed a paradox, filled with beauty and peril in equal measure. They play a vital role in maintaining the balance of our ecosystems, but they can also cause devastating harm when mistaken for their harmless counterparts. The stories of Charles de Marillac, the victims of ergotism, the Kyushu incident, and the British foragers all serve as stark reminders of the potential dangers that lurk within this fascinating kingdom of organisms. While these stories may seem grim, they also highlight the importance of education and awareness about the diversity and potential threats posed by fungi. It's crucial to remember that not all mushrooms are edible, and even those that are can be easily confused with deadly lookalikes. One must exercise caution and seek expert advice when foraging for wild mushrooms. Fungi, in their myriad forms, continue to fascinate and baffle us with their complex behaviours and ecological roles. They remind us of the delicate balance of life and the importance of respecting and understanding the natural world. These tales serve as a grim reminder of the potential dangers fungi can pose. But let's not forget, they also serve as a testament to the captivating complexity and diversity of the fungal kingdom, a world that is as intriguing as it is perilous. While the world of fungi is intriguing, it is equally important to tread with caution. The fascinating world of fungi is a realm of beauty, mystery and grave potential danger. While these organisms play critical roles in our ecosystems and even contribute to our culinary delights, they can also be harbingers of harm. Imagine you're out in the wilderness, surrounded by the serenity of nature. You come across a beautiful mushroom, its cap as vibrant as a painter's palette. It's tempting to reach out, to touch or even to collect, but it's vital to remember. Appearances can be deceiving. That vivid mushroom could be a deadly amanita, a genus of fungi known for its lethal members. Some species of this genus, such as the death cap or the destroying angel, are so toxic that ingesting a single specimen can be fatal. Their toxins can cause severe liver and kidney damage, often leading to death. Even experienced mycologists, scientists who study fungi, can struggle to differentiate between safe and dangerous species. Some poisonous mushrooms bear a striking resemblance to harmless, even edible ones. This doppelganger dilemma is one of the many reasons why caution is paramount when dealing with unknown fungi. And it's not just about ingestion. Certain types of fungi can cause harm through mere contact, releasing spores that can lead to allergic reactions, skin irritations or respiratory problems. For instance, the Stachybotrys charterum, commonly known as black mold, produces toxins that can cause severe health issues when inhaled. Moreover, the danger of fungi isn't confined to individual health risks. Some species can pose significant threats to our ecosystems. The Cryphonectria parasitica, for example, is responsible for the chestnut blight, a disease that nearly wiped out the American chestnut tree in the early 20th century. So. What does all this mean for us? Should we avoid fungi altogether? No, not at all. Fungi are essential components of our world. They decompose organic matter, recycle nutrients, form symbiotic relationships with plants, and contribute to the creation of life-saving drugs. However, the key is to approach the fungal kingdom with respect and caution. If you're in the wild, refrain from touching or ingesting any mushroom or fungi that you can't positively identify. If you're interested in foraging, consider joining a local mycological society or taking a course from a certified professional. In our homes, it's important to be aware of the signs of harmful fungal growth such as mould. Be vigilant about damp areas as they are prime spots for fungal growth. If you suspect the presence of toxic mould, seek professional help immediately. In agriculture and forestry, 
we must continue to research and implement strategies to combat the spread of harmful fungal diseases. This includes the use of fungicides, breeding disease-resistant varieties, and employing biological control methods. In the realm of medicine and drug discovery, scientists must continue to explore the vast potential of fungi while taking necessary precautions to avoid harmful exposure. The world of fungi is a complex web of wonder and danger. It's a kingdom that demands our curiosity and our respect, our fascination and our caution. As we delve deeper into understanding these incredible organisms, we must remember to balance our admiration for their beauty and ecological contributions with the understanding of their potential dangers. So next time you encounter a mushroom in the wild or spot a patch of mold in your home, remember, it's not just about what you know, but how you approach the unknown. Remember, the kingdom of fungi demands respect and caution. As we journey through this hidden kingdom, we encounter a world of paradox. This realm of fungi, often unseen, yet ubiquitously present, is both a harbinger of life and a bringer of death. A critical component of our ecosystems, fungi are the unseen custodians of our natural world. They decompose organic matter, releasing nutrients back into the soil, and engage in symbiotic relationships with trees, aiding their growth and survival. Yet in this same kingdom lurk species of a more ominous nature, the deadly destroying angel, the deceiving death cap, the perilous poison pie, all beautiful, all lethal. These are fungi with a fatal touch, their toxins capable of causing severe illness and sometimes tragically death. And then we find the infectious fungi, the stealthy invaders of our bodies. They can cause infections ranging from mild skin conditions to life-threatening systemic diseases. Histoplasmosis, candidiasis, aspergillosis. These are no mere words, but formidable foes that have claimed many lives. But even as we tread carefully, we marvel at the beauty and complexity of these organisms. Their vibrant hues, their intricate structures, their incredible adaptability, all serve as a testament to the wonder of nature. In their duality, fungi mirror life itself. They embody the cycle of life and death, the interplay of creation and destruction, the balance of benefit and harm. This is not a kingdom to be feared, but rather one to be understood and respected. One must approach this kingdom with a sense of caution, but also with a sense of curiosity. For while there are dangers lurking in the shadows, there are also discoveries waiting to be made, secrets waiting to be unveiled, and stories waiting to be told. The world of fungi, then, is a world of beauty and danger, a world of fascination and fear, a world of paradox.